Hey guys, in this video I'll teach you how to fold origami reindeer designed by me. This is how the model looks like. You can use pretty much any paper you can get your hands on. I tried folding it from double mulberry. Wrapping paper, which you can get pretty much anywhere. Origami paper, also known as kami. I made actually two of those. And even printing paper. And as a matter of fact, that's the paper we'll be using today. This one was painted with acrylic paint on one of the sides. That way you can distinguish, well, white side and the colored side. As long as the paper is about 15 centimeters, that's around six inches, you should be fine. Anyways, let's get back to folding. Let us begin. We'll start off by folding paper diagonally in half in both directions. Make sure you're on the white side of the paper and bring those two corners together. We'll repeat the same thing for those two corners as well. Unfold the paper, and now we'll fold it horizontally in half. But you don't have to do it in both directions. One is sufficient. All right. Unfold the paper and rotate it so that this newly made crease is pointed in that direction. We'll bring those two corners to the center point. Unfold the paper and rotate it to the right. We have a diagonal crease over here. We're going to bring this edge to that diagonal crease. Now here's the thing, you don't really have to go all the way. You only have to crease up to this point. You'll notice there is a little crease right over there and you can stop as soon as you pass the point. Unfold the paper and repeat the same thing on this side. Again, right over here. All right, and now we're going to rotate the paper this way and make a crease that goes through this point and that point. Now what I like to do is just flip the paper over, locate those two creases and pinch the paper slightly and do the same thing on the right one. So now when we turn the paper over, it will be much easier and we can use those little guides to guide the crease through. All right. Now turn the paper around like this. Now we'll bring this corner up on that side. You can see the diagonal crease ends right there, so fold the corner up to there. And you can fold all the way through. For those of you experienced folders, you're now going to make a fish base from this triangle over here. Now all it is, is just folding the edges to the outer ones, like this. So in this direction, now we'll unfold and do the same thing in this direction. Just like that. And now we're going to bring both those creases together like this and make a valley fold along the middle line and then fold this flap to the left and then to the right. Unfold everything and repeat the same thing on the right one. All 
to the right and to the left. Unfold. All right, we're going to bring this back up. So it's basically just unfolding the paper. But now we want to use this crease, make a mount fold along it, and then fold it up to this line over here. Now what I like to do again is just rotate the paper and perform the crease there. I find it a little easier. You don't have to go all the way through. You stop as soon as you hit a middle line, symmetry line of this triangle over here. You go a little bit further than that, just to make sure. Just like this. Now unfold and we'll do the same thing. To the right. All right. Rotate the paper on the colored side again. And now we're going to make a mount fold along this crease and fold it up to here. Just like that. Increase all the way on the left, but stop as soon as you hit this point. It's the crease right over here. And that is actually a main symmetry line here. Unfold. As you can see, all we've done is just another power line to those two. So let's do the same thing on the right. And now unfold the paper. Now here's the trickiest bit of this model. If you can get this right, I'm pretty confident you can fold it completely. So, first off, make mountain folds along this crease, along this one. So it's basically just doing a fish base we've done earlier. And now we'll do the same thing on the right. Now notice if you were to make a mountain fold over here, you'd be going over that crease. Now what we want to do is just open this part slightly and make mountain folds like that. So the end of the middle. All right. Now we're going to bring those two up like that. But now here's the trick. We want to use those two creases, not those two. So what I like to do is use my three fingers like that, pinch the paper like this. So bring those two edges together like that. I'm struggling with it already, so do that and then fold it down. You'll find how we create this white section. And now we'll do the same thing on the right. Again, this part is really tricky to get. Just like this. And now you can flatten the paper. Don't do anything to the middle flap, but you can fold the right one and the left one up. All right. I'll just unfold this so you can see the movement once again. So this is what is happening. We're bringing those two to the right, to the left. But now you're pinching this part, bringing those two edges together and using the bottom crease here. So make sure this white part appears. All right, now we'll just fold the whole model in half like this. There we go. Now we'll just fold this down and do the same thing on the other side. And this part is the body of our reindeer. Now let's work on head and the antlers. First step to making the head is folding this edge to this middle crease here. Just like that. Now bring this edge to this one over here, essentially just folding the angle in half, like this. And now we'll turn the paper over like that, and then fold it in half once again. Now you'll notice how this little portion, this little corner of that triangle hits this corner right here. 
just like that. Make sure you apply quite a bit of pressure here. We want to make really sharp creases. All right. Turn the paper around again. So this is what you have now. I'm going to unfold this slightly and make a valley fold along this crease, like this. I'm going to hold this with my fingers and then open this part slightly. Make sure you're firmly holding this and just pull the paper apart from here. All right. Then we'll find the paper will want to flatten naturally, so you just need to help it a bit, like that. All we've done is just a reverse fold, which we're going to do on the left side now. So, make a mountain fold along this crease, and at the same time you're pushing the paper inwards, like that. Just like that and now folding this to the left. All right. Now fold the corners in half like this. We'll do that on both sides, left and right. Unfold the paper and now we're going to perform a petal fold. You're taking this bit folding it up and then bringing the edges in like this. And we're going to keep it up like that. Okay, that looks great. Now, make a fold along this outer edge. Like this. Again, everything we do on the right, we're going to do on the left. Do a reverse fold along that crease. We're taking this bit, folding it up like this. Make a mountain fold along that crease. And then folding it up. Now obviously we can't do the same thing on the left. That's why a couple of following steps we're going to focus on the right side now fold this to the right like that you'll find it's equivalent to folding that edge to the one below it like this make sure you got a nice pointy end right there all right now fold it back and then fold that corner in half like this. You'll notice how the crease ends right over there. And that is no coincidence. All right. Unfold that. Fold it to the right again. And now we're going to bring this point right over there. Just so take this flat and just fold it downwards like this. And you'll see this part where it'll just want to collapse naturally. And now just flatten it down. Make sure you get a pointy end right over there. Like this. Once we fold it down, we're going to fold it up once again. Okay, so we're making antlers now. Now you can notice on the real model, there's a color change right over there. Maybe you'll see a little easier right here. And the way we achieve that is with this step. So focus on this crease over here. We'll make a mount fold, but make sure you're not folding this flat. So we just want to fold this slightly to the right like this, free it up, and then make a mount fold. So I'm not actually folding through any of this. And now we're making like a fish base in a sense, we're just pushing the paper inwards, folding all the corners in half. It's a lot easier than it sounds. Like this. And now we'll just flatten it down. Cool. 
All right. Now we'll bring that corner to this one. So free this part up and then just fold it up. The crease end ends right there. Like this. And now I'll just fold that edge to here and fold it down. Now we'll make a reverse fold along this crease. We'll just pre-crease that like that. Open it up. Make mountain folds. Like this. And now we'll fold the corners inwards like that. Now, you might be a little frustrated at this point because it's really hard to get those corners pointy and get the folds perfect. But don't worry, that's completely fine because we're going for this organic look, so slight imperfections are just extra features. All right, this is the first handler. Now we'll repeat everything on the left side. All right, now we got both handlers. Now we'll fold this flat downwards like that. Fold it to the left. And now here is the scariest step of the whole model. Don't be reluctant to do this. It's nothing too serious. Grab those corners and unfold the paper like that. Use your finger, push down like this. So what we're doing is just a valley fold along this horizontal crease, like that. And now we want to collect those flaps together. So let's do the right ones first, the left ones, and then bring those two together and flatten the whole thing. Now you just might want to work on those creases a little bit so that it folds nicely, like that. All right, now locate this flap over here and we're just going to fold this downward slightly, not all the way, we just need this little portion, so just press here and we'll make this little crease. So what we want to do now is make a valley fold from that point to right over here. So what I do is just fold the paper like this. You can also fold it over like that. It doesn't really have to be perfect, but you want to aim for this portion and that one like that. So this is completely fine. All right, once we get this, we'll fold the whole thing from that point on. We're pivoting around that point. That's our anchor. Folding it to the left. Now, for the reference point, I usually like to use those two. We want to make them parallel to that, but if we're slightly off, that's completely fine. So, I like how this looks like. That's all right. Now, locate this flap, and we want to go to the right of it. You can see there's a middle one over here. I'm sorry, go to the left of it. Then open. And we'll make a mound fold behind that like this you'll find that we already have that crease created so we're just reversing its direction like this all right so this stays here and i just want to flatten this part like this
Let me just show you that once again. We're folding downwards like that, folding it to the left, opening this up, locate the middle flap, go to the left of it, open this portion, fold it back like that, and then flatten everything together. And that's how we get this color change here. All right, now we'll fold this to the right as far as it goes. And now fold it up. Again, I'm using the ground as a reference. We want it perpendicular to those two. So something like this will do completely fine. And now we're going to fold the angle in half. like this now fold it to the left just take one of them now you can stop right here where those two meet but what I usually like to do and this is just a preference is just go a little bit further that way I get this slightly curved portion and I like to just use that to make this curvy bit like that we'll take one of those flaps Fold it up like this. No reference points to your liking. And now I just like to curve this portion a little bit. Those are endless, so you've got all the artistic freedom at your disposal. And I will do the same thing on the right. All right, this looks fine. And now I'll repeat the same thing on the other side. All right, this looks good. Now we'll fold the nose, which is just put your finger right over here and flatten this portion a little bit so you can look at it from above. And now we'll just fold this corner up like this. And now fold that back like this. And we get a nice nose. We'll shape the legs now. Fold it up, take this corner and fold it from that point to the outside edge of the paper. You'll find that it ends somewhere around there. You don't have to be super precise, but make sure you do the same thing on the other side so it looks symmetrical. So once you get this, make a crease from this point and then just a tiny little gap between that and that and now we'll just fold it downwards you'll find that you're actually creating a new crease in that flat there but that's completely fine so we're just folding it down and now we'll do the same thing on the other side again fold it up and then fold that corner to the outside edge Fold it up, making a little tiny little gap like this, and then fold it down and make sure that those two match. And they do, so that's fine. All right, now let's do some more shaping. I'll fold this up, so I'm not actually making an actual crease over here, I'm just bringing it up like that. And now I'll fold this down slightly somewhere around here this is a feel thing so you're folding it down and now you're narrowing the legs I usually like to end somewhere around there but again that's a personal preference and then I'll fold this down all right now we just have to do the same thing on the other side so I keep this part open and then try to match what I did on the left to the right so I'm constantly checking the left side to make sure that it's symmetrical like this I think that'll work just fine alright 
So now the model is pretty much finished, but we want to add a couple of more curved creases to give it more volume, because this way it looks kind of flat. So what we want is something like this. So let me show you how to do that. So first of all, look from the bird's eye perspective like here, and we'll open. So we have two flaps on each side like this. So we'll just open that part and now start curving the model by pushing the paper inside. Like this. Now you can end here. This is completely fine. And if you're using a thicker paper, it will look great. But here's an extra step I like to take, and that is to unfold this part a little bit, make a reverse fold right here. Again, this is optional, so you can just leave it like this, but what I like to do is make a reverse fold right there where that curved fold starts. So right there. And reverse fold like that, and you're not actually following the curved fold, it's supposed to end just before that fold we're trying to make. Alright? Fold this down, and you'll see how now you can push this part a little further down, and neck looks separated from the rest of the body. I'll do the same thing on the right side, and show you how to do that. So again, we're using this point as a reference. I'm pinching this paper on the right and doing a reverse fold right here. And here's what I was saying. So you're not using this curved fold as a reference, but you're just stopping that crease right before it. Like that. Because that way you can curve this further and it will look good. Now, I'll just make sure those are symmetrical, so I'll adjust this crease a little bit. Just like that. So here's another thing we can do to it. Get your fingers inside this pocket and then try pushing this downwards. Now help yourself by going from the other side and just making this portion a little round. This will help it stand and it will make its belly a little fuller. And the last thing you can do, as you can see there's a bunch of little small layers stacked upon each other. And what you can do is just spread them apart like this. Now I won't do this on this fold because I don't really have tweezers with me right now. But the way I did this was just push the first one to the left and then the second one and so on and so forth by using tweezers. If you're using a thicker paper, this will be much easier than on the thinner ones. But you can skip that part if you don't feel like doing it. And I just remembered another thing we can do to the legs is make this little curved fold like that. It just adds a little more character to it. Like this. Make sure those are symmetrical. Here's how the final model should look like. I gotta say I'm pretty satisfied with the result. If you guys manage to fold this model, please share your pictures on Instagram. You can tag me in your post or add hashtag OriamiSage and I'll make sure to check it out. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel and post a lot of comments. And perhaps think of a name for this guy. All the other reindeers have names and this one seems kind of lonely. Although he kind of looks like John. John Deere. Anyways, I'm Origami Sage and I'll see you next time.